Hi everyone, welcome back. What's up? Are you thinking about significance of things about earlierness and I don't know what happened and stuff and what is this voice that I'm using? Hey everyone. <laughs> anyway. You only confirmed that I did spill some perfume. Sorry, I was reading all. Twitter because it's more interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That you would accuse me of murder based on a simple spill. Don't you dare complain when I sue you for defamation. Defamation of character. <laughs> Do really what? You struggled through that one, didn't you? A little bit. <laughs> but as for me, I believe. You believe? I believe that you are the true culprit in this case. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Why, you're enthusiastic. Of course I should have guessed. Anyway, yeah, I already said it, didn't I? But I suppose forgery of evidence is to be expected. I would assume so, considering we started the episode five seconds ago. I don't know if I did or not, but who knows? I should say right now, I'm not going, James King. I mean, it's been like a goddamn week since we recorded this. Or has it? I formally request that you insist in your attack against my mentor. By the way, everyone, he did rage quit once. He just did it before an episode happened. So, in case you were wondering when he was going to do it, it happened before episode 49. So. Now you know. <laughs> I formally request that you desist in your attack against my mentor. Somebody doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Or I'll sue you for de defamation. <laughs> all, I'm all I'm doing is telling the truth. Well, maybe more like spreading gossip. Although your adamant denials are, shall we say, just adding fuel to the fire. How dare you? Yeah, why, was okay. that a, why was that a question? Say such a thing! Calm down, little girl. Don't let her get to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did you have to ruin my fun? <laughs> well, shall I continue? In any case, it simply could not have been it me who killed... It simply shouldn't. <laughs> it simply could have been me who killed Mr. Record, hey? It simply could have? <laughs> yes, let's go with that. And why exactly could you not have killed him? <laughs> I was just about to testify to that. You're such an impatient man. <laughs> I'm not really into that, you know, Medgeworth. Medgeworth? Arg! Your preferences all have no bearing on what is at hand. All of them. <laughs> what? All of them. All of them, indeed. Feeling a little uncomfortable, are we? Arg! Miss you! You will desist in this tomfoolery and simply attend your testimony! What? And Miles, you have to going to lose your cool what? and I won't show you any mercy! Ahem, sorry, Miss you. Please continue with your testimony. Sure. As I was saying, I couldn't have possibly killed Mr. Faraday. Yeah, I'll prove that wrong in just about five seconds flat. After all, I don't even know where your knife that was used to kill him came from. Oops. Okay. Miles, her testimony is flawless! Her testimony? <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Yes, but no matter what sort of trick she may try to pull, she won't escape me. What? <laughs> if I'm lacking in information, I'll just draw it out of her. <laughs> that Accusing purple someone... freaking trim on her. Outfit looks stupid. Doesn't it? No, well, I don't know where. He, where the knife was used to kill him came from. Is that it? it? Oh, yes, it is it. At this rate, she will inevitably escape. But if she really was the one who killed Mr. Faraday, she must have known about the existence of the knife. I'm sorry, Miss Yu. Maybe you weren't aware. However, the knife that was used to kill Mr. Faraday was taken from his evidence bag. Myers, what do you think you're doing? Hm. I'm drawing the truth out of her. That's what I'm doing. What? <laughs> huh? But I don't recall a knife being presented at the trial earlier today. Well, I suppose that's because the evidence has something Mr. Faraday had yet to use. Ah, so that's what you're trying to do. Look, why don't you cut it out with the lies? I've already figured you out. There was no knife inside Mr. Faraday's evidence bag. 
The only evidence he had yet to present was the key the Yadagarasu had sent. And unless a key can magically turn into a knife, you really don't have a leg <laughs> to stand on. Excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> Did you really think you could trap me? Come now, be honest. <laughs> I never intended to do such a thing. It was all a misunderstanding on my part. Really? What? In any case, I wonder if you might append what you just said to your testimony. Sure, why not? I'll... I I'll? Yeah. <laughs> I'll even say it as many times as you like. You, you do realize that the fan translation of the second game probably won't have this many grammatical errors in it. Who knows? There was a key in his evidence bag, but you can't kill anyone with a simple key. Or can you? Miss Yu, I would just like to confirm something with you one more time. What? All you gotta do is stab someone in the jugular with the teeth. Yeah, exactly. You kill someone with a key easily. Exactly. Oh, about what's going to happen? Well, except that's not an usually shaped key, though. It's more like square rather than pointy. So, I don't know. About what's about hey, what's going to happen? Use enough force, it'll you. still go in. That's advice for life. I guess so. <laughs> not gonna get that at all. I don't. Or do I? I don't need to ask you about that because he isn't the killer. <laughs> Looks like the number of wrinkles on your forehead have increased yet again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for that. You're sorry for what? My earlier comment. Why? <laughs> that was really dark. That was dark? Yeah. I thought you were taking that another direction, actually. <laughs> Alrighty then, whatever. That issue aside, Miss Yu, I'd like to ask you about what was inside the bag. Yeah. You are sure it was the Kyatagrasu's key, correct? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Which is why I'm completely baffled as to where the knife could have come from. Hey, idiot, present the key knife here. I think I've just spotted the road to a perfect victory. Finally, it would appear that you have revealed your true identity, Miss Yu. Miles, a final statement! Yes, I know. All I had to do now was present the evidence. So I what is Dual this? Destinies, finally. I've started Dual Destinies finally. Thanks that to Mega Shadow Fist case. finally starting a series on it. <laughs> Dude, that final case, my god. No! Talking about it! So good. But what is this ominous feeling that I can't shake? Now that I've finished it, I can honestly say the Black Quill is better than Edgeworth. There is no way that he's better than than I was the Black Wolf. I was he's no way he's better than Edgeworth and Clavier Gavin. There's no way. He's I better than Edgeworth. I can't. I can't. I can't see that. There was a key in his evidence bag, but you can't kill anyone with a simple key. While we, while I'd present the knife over the key. Why? They both probably work, but Maybe. I'd present the knife over the key. But the thing is, you have to show the secret of the key, though. I think that's what you're trying to say. I mean, they could both yeah, work, like I said, but to be I think fair, the key that's is a safer. Picture. Huh? To be fair, that's a picture. What? What? But we had the actual key, though, didn't we? The actual key is the knife. Did we turn the knife into the key? Is that what we did earlier? No. Well, you did that in the evidence viewer, but you didn't, like, in, the ev in your evidence, it's still the knife. I'm confused. Whatever. I don't know, man. Miss you. I wonder if you might take a look at this photo for me. It is a photo. Go figure. This is a picture of the key the Yadagarasu sent to the police. However, while it may look like a key at first glance, it in fact has the secret ability to transform into a knife. Who makes a key like that? I do wonder about that too, actually. Which means that what was inside Mr. Faraday's bag was both the Yadagarasu's key and the murderous knife. You knew that the key was inside Mr. Faraday's bag, did you not? Yes. Why would she admit to that? I don't know. Well, with the Kyatagarasu's key alone, it's more than possible. The second time you called it the Kyatagarasu. Wait, no, I didn't. Yes. It's more than the possible to kill Mr. Faraday. Nerd! 
Do you understand now, just knowing of the existence of the Data Crossers key? Yeah, that's why I'm saying, why did she admit to knowing it? Maybe she's not very smart. I still haven't had a good look at it. Showing it to me from that far away, you could be lying for all I know. You would even now still feign ignorance? <laughs> I'm not feigning anything. We Are can't you have you accusing me of a crime with false evidence now, can we? What? Are you putting so much emphasis on feign? Because it was feigning ignorance. I mean, Mr. Von Karma, I've heard some very interesting rumors about him. Arng! Are you mocking my papa? Don't you dare sully the good name of my mentor. Now take a good look. This piece of evidence is more than real. Wow, who knew there was such a trick to this thing? Are you satisfied now? But of course you knew from the very beginning, didn't you? You knew that the knife and the Yadagrasu's key are one and the same. Oh crap, it's Ally versus Abadongo first. What? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, someone like you, who isn't a member of law enforcement and who you or you would never have been privy to this new trick. Privy. I never know how to pronounce that word. It's privy. Sometimes I say privy, sometimes I say privy. I have no idea, man. Wouldn't well, have never privy. known about it. So now you video. know. I'll probably forget in about a month, so yeah, that's cool. Da, 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 da. Furthermore, the something that the Yadagrasu sent to the police. How did you have a knowledge as to what it was? Yeah, all, she screwed herself up just by saying she knew yes. of it. Yes! Oh yeah! I said yes! Hey, Toad. <laughs> the Toad trying to do a Captain Falcon impression? Yes! Actually, I heard it from Mr. Faraday just before he dragged Mr. Rell off. He told me... Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. He also told me about the key turning into a knife at that time. Well, she literally just said she didn't hear that it could do that. Did she? No. But they didn't tell me about the, how the key actually transforms. What you are saying is simply not possible. Oh, and, and why not? Because Mr. Faraday himself didn't know about the hidden knife within the key. But within these pages, he mended nothing about a knife. Objection! Objection. <laughs> I'm not sure he would have written everything as organizer, you know. Wouldn't something of this importance be better left to oral communication? Objection! Unfortunately, that is also impossible. Because Detective Bad isn't, didn't know isn't. about the knife aspect either. He isn't? <laughs> okay, she turned into a duck again. No, that was Francisca that turned into a duck earlier. What's what? <laughs> oh, God. Right. What would have been highly classified information, even within the police force, and is something that even the lead detective on the case didn't know? Why would Mr. Faraday have the felt of need to share what? such information with the opposition? Why did he gain a little bit of an accent towards <laughs> the end of that sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have much of a reason to. <laughs> Looks like I gave a pretty lame excuse, huh? How could you laugh at a time like this? Because that's what the writers made her do. She probably just realized the flaw in the logic and is actually in a panic of it. But that's not something we could need to concern ourselves over with. What? Hmm. I suppose you're right. Miss you. I'd like to state that I also know how to know the real nature of the what? knife. You know how to know? I don't know, man. <laughs> do you know? Do you now? Do what? you now? Well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is and show me? Oh, I will. And I'll wipe that smile off your smile. face with by the face time you're in. What? <laughs> We're doing FaceTime now? <laughs> it's FaceTime now! Uh. FaceTime is an app on freaking Apple phones. Now it's Ryan time! <laughs> no. This is it. I figured the... I should tell you that since you don't know anything about anything ever. Yeah, I don't. This is it. The moment of truth. The secret behind the Yadagarasu's key. Only one person would have had knowledge of it from the get-go. 
Who would know where from the start that the Yadagarasu's key could change into a knife? Uh, okay, Faraday? Are you kidding me? That would me? be this person. Why? Because she's the Yadagarasu's kid, so who else would know it? <laughs> Why would you not immediately pick the Yadagarasu? Because I thought we were saying anyone who besides him. No. I'm confused, but Mr. Faraday is the Yadagarasu, so he would know about it. Okay, he doesn't know that, so he's implying that she is. Thanks for the best laugh I've had all day. Now are we ready to call it a day yet? Wait a second, I was mistaken? Yes, the eight-year-old didn't know about it. This is it. A <laughs> moment of truth. The secret behind the Yadagras is key. Only one person would have the knowledge of it from the get-go. Well, jeez, I didn't think it was, like, I was just thinking, like, because if, if Only Mr. One Faraday person. didn't know it, then maybe the kid would know it, because... No, your line of logic makes no sense, so stop trying to justify it. There's one only person who would what? have known about the dual destinies of the key. That wasn't funny. That was, that was fitting, though. No. <laughs> because it does have two destinies. One is no. a key, and one is a, one is a knife. On. <laughs> and that is... And that is the person who sent the Yadagarasu's key to the police. That is to say, the Yadagarasu herself. Herself? Yeah, because he's implying it's her. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Are you saying that this lawyer is the committee of Yadagarasu? Miss Yu, you used Mr. Rell to lure Mr. Faraday into a trap, didn't you? You who profess to bear a grudge against criminals, why? Why do you something like this? What? Why do you something like this? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> really tickled her funny bone. <laughs> Who would have thought that you guess wrong? A stupid rookie prosecutor would see through me. What? Wait, what? What? Who? What? You're sending the biggest chill down my spine right now, Edgeworth. This feeling of thrill, it's even greater than when I sneak into some place. You. 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 What? You killed Faraday. Hold on. All right, pause. Freaking. All right, he's they, back. They, they go all this time without annoying me, and then as soon as I freaking start doing something, why? <laughs> Answer me, Callisto. You. That is a good question. <laughs> Callisto, you, huh? That's not my real name. It's my uh, real identity. Is yes, the great thief Yadagarasu. I'm really confused now. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Edgeworth. Mr. Faraday was one difficult man to deal with. For you see, he had discovered my true identity. Which is why I had to erase him from the world of law. I made Rel an offer, an acquittal for a little favor in return. All he had to do was accuse Mr. Faraday of being Yadagarasu in court. But once we entered the recess, Rel was dragged off by Mr. Faraday. Which threw my plan into a complete mess. I chased after them, and eavesdropped on them through a crack in the door. That rail caves to only two things, money and authority, just as all thugs do. I feared my plan was going to be ruined by Mr. Faraday, and held on to Mr. Rail what? any longer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading right now. Retry that sentence. Nope, too late. Plus, she if thought I... her plan was going to be ruined if he if he held on to Rel any longer. That's a good memory. Plus, if I had let them continue, assuming that was right anyway, on the way they were, I would have been found out. That's why I had no choice. I had to kill them both. But didn't you say that you despise criminals? <laughs> but do I really? You. Have you forgotten about the KG-8 incident, too? Maybe. 
What sort of woman was it? So then was it your plan to kill Mr. Faraday with the very evidence that you sent? <laughs> well, I had a good idea of what Mr. Faraday was going to do. I anticipated that Mr. Faraday was going to prove that Rail wasn't the Yadagarasu. By using this Yadagarasu's key as evidence, and then he would bring it with him. Which is why I thought to use the knife portion. With a weapon as well disguised as this, no one would, no one would be any, the wiser. It's not that well disguised. Because who in the right mind would think something like this could be a weapon? I casually entered lobby number two on the pretext that I had to talk to Mr. Faraday. And in order to get in with him, I pretended to be worried about something. He then lets me hold the Kiata Garasu's key just like that. That's the third time you've said Kiata Garasu. <laughs> I think I was going to say key, and then I was like, whoops. Never mind. He then, he never noticed that I had changed the key into a knife inside the plastic bag. That blade looks way bigger than it does in any other picture. Does it now? And he didn't have the chance to take note of the knife that he took his life. What? How could you kill him? I knew him for a long time, you know. At the very least, I thought to give him a quick and painless death. But if you killed Mr. Faraday first, there was no need for you to kill Mr. Rell as well. Oh wait, that's me. I believe I mentioned- You've been doing it the whole episode, how do you forget in five seconds? I don't know, man. I believe I mentioned why when we were placing Detective Gumshoe under arrest. Something about having accidentally created an eyewitness. And how that led to killer to think about setting them up what? as to they kill other each other. <sighs> <laughs> that sounded so great. Then you the trick them with the surveillance team. What? <laughs> yes, I hadn't actually planned to use a gun. The risk was too high that I'd be caught. However, that's when I remembered the existence of the surveillance tape. Which is why I had Rail help me set up the crime scene. And after all was said and done, I rewarded him with all his hard work with a bullet. For all of his hard work? You! You're a defense attorney, aren't you? How could you att- uh, How could what? you- ha Wait. How, how could you could attorney? How betray a client? You almost said, how could you attorney? <laughs> client? If you want to talk about who was a client of whose first, it was me. Question mark? I was the client in the murder of the Kadopian Embassy staff member, Dean Mann. Y you ordered the hit job? <laughs> you still don't figure it out, huh, Mr. What? Bad? I had Mr. Dean Mann killed because he was about to give away info about the smuggling ring. Now, who exactly do you think would benefit from the, such an assassination? What? It, it can't be. You. You're... That's right. I'm a member of the smuggling ring. I thought Edward was holding his arm around bad <laughs> for a second, and I was like, wait, what? What? How could this... You don't mean you're working with Manny Cochin too, do you? <laughs> maybe not. Guess you'll never know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the other girl also claims to be a noble, but you're just another cold blooded murderer. <laughs> That's right, you little girl. We got a grass who is just another killer. Be quiet, you. Yarigrasu, you've been run from the law, but you'll never escape it. So just humbly accept the judgment no, of this it. court. I hate you. I hate you. I hate everything about you. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, did you know that Yarigrasu has three legs? Do you know why that is? Because they're male? <laughs> that was the worst attempt at a sex joke I've ever heard. <laughs> what is she implying right there? That she's not the Yadagarasu? I mean, it has to be Just Mr. Faraday, so it wouldn't make sense. Continue the text. Dot dot dot. <laughs> no. Well, let me tell you. 
It means that the Yadagarasu is more than one razor sharp way to do her work. Oh. Oh. Why is she behind the counter tiny, now? Tiny double barrel pistol. Dot dot dot. You really are too naive, Edgeworth. You even handed the Yadagrasu key right to me without a second thought. Everything may not have gone according to plan, but I'll still gladly take it. <sighs> you mean... The key was your real target? <sighs> and even after I gave you such a great advice... Didn't I tell you to always keep a good eye on a criminal? Or you may regret what comes of your ne negligence. You two, get down! Eek. Ah! <sighs> My body, I can't move! Hey, mister, to your right! Ugh! You! Well, I can only assume he either didn't get shot in a- Okay, I was gonna say, he either got well, shot yeah, in a non- To his right. I was gonna say, he either got shot in a non-fatal area, or he did successfully get out of the way. He Are you all right, right Francis? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that going to the right was the right answer, or that he did it in time, I mean, for that matter. I mean, if he went to the left, he would have crashed into Von Karma. Well, anyway. I'm perfectly fine, Myers. Her voice is shaking, but it looks like she's unharmed. Went a little bit into the accent there again. Mm -hmm. Where did- no, come on. Where did K go? That's a gunshot. So what, did he get another gunshot in his freaking jacket? Did K get shot? Oh no. What could have happened? September 10th, the 7pm district court? Courtroom number th- oh. I see now. <laughs> That's why What's-His-Face didn't show up. Or not. What are you talking about? I thought Bad got shot or something, and that he was dead, and that's why he didn't show up in the future cases. Sorry, but it looks like she got away. I called the precinct. They should have a perimeter set up so <coughs> Not again. <coughs> I'm drinking water while you're talking, and I started freaking going down the wrong pipe. <coughs> I'm good at this, man. Mm. Mm. I think I'll be fine. Excuse me. Detective Bat, are you alright? I heard a gunshot. <coughs> I'm okay. Just got another hole in my jacket. God damn it. I. Oh. <laughs> so he did get shot just in the jacket. That's what I said. I said, did he get another hole in his jacket? I thought you were being sarcastic. I didn't think you were being serious about that. He may say he's fine, but he looks quite shaken. But more importantly, boy, I mean, Mr. Edgeworth. Miss Von Karma, are you too hurt? I... I am absolutely fine. I'm also alright, thanks to Kay. Speaking of Kay, where is she? Hmm, I don't know. She just sort of disappeared. Hmm, I'll go look for her. Oh, and hey, Detective Gumshoe, I assume. Yes, sir! Detective Bad, sir! I'm sorry, I doubted you. Don't worry, sir, it's not your fault. I... Well, I lied to you guys, too, after all. I heard about what happened. Okay. Lying while giving testimony is still unforgivable. But in this case, you were protecting Kay and her feelings. Looks like you just might have what it takes to be a real detective. Ah! Now don't you ever lose that detective spirit, okay? You got it, Pops! Pops? Push one too many detective traumas recently, have we? Way to single-handedly destroy the cheery atmosphere with one snarky cop. Atmosphere? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? I was so close! I should get back to the investigation. I swear, I'll catch you if it's the last thing I do. Be careful, Detective Bad, and take care. Thanks. Well, I'm off. Maybe we'll run into each other again someday. 
and then this plays into case five where he comes back after hundreds of years. Or seven. Um, so, uh, thanks a bunch, pal. You're the best. You really did find out the truth behind everything. Yes, well, I'm glad we solved everything before we were taken to prison. Before we? What? You sound like you said before we were taken to prison. I don't know. I can't believe how much trouble I caused you with my testimony, Detective Gumshoe. He sounds so weird, and he actually talks in Dual Destinies, too. Yeah, it's I like, know. Well, I played it. I don't remember what he sounded like, but it was like a more of a deeper voice, like, Ah, oh, the, the, oh, the person thing. I, I don't really know what he sounded like. He sounds really uh -huh. weird. Ah. Ah, uh -huh. uh, the person thing. I, that, that sounds like something you would say. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, it was no problem, really. Ha <laughs> ha I mean, I lied too, so I didn't help anything. It's really not your fault, Your Honor. Well, even if we didn't have his honor's testimony, I think he's his lawyer with a stand another way to get you convicted on her behalf. Yeah, I can't believe I was about to get fired during my first week as a detective. How did she get away? She's in a freaking courthouse full of cops. Hmm, well, I mean, I guess she's too good at that, apparently. Well, so long as you're not fired, you should work hard, give all that you have, and perform your duties well. Oh, and one more thing. Kay left a present for you with me. She did! Oh, what is it? What was it that Kay left for me? The proof of their friendship. Uh-oh. The gun. Uh-oh. It's the freaking roll. Is it? Yeah. 100% sure? Said to... Yeah, she said to give it to him whenever you had the chance. It's a courthouse special sweet roll. Swiss roll. With... It's still not Skyrim. Can... Can you... I really have it? What? Yes. It's a present meant for you after all. Thanks a bunch, you have no idea how happy this makes me, pal. I'm gonna eat this right now. Sure, go ahead. The Swiss rolls that Detective Gumshoe and Kay bought together. While the one K save never reached her father. It would appear that her sentiments have touched the heart of this detective. And he completely forgot about her seven years later. Apparently so. Or did he? He, he's so happy that it's as though he's having a welcome back celebration of his own. Well, I was asked by Kay to give it to him. Woof! That was good, pal. I can't believe I got to eat two of these delicious things in one day. It's like well, I'm in a Swiss roll like paradise or something. Bite. What? It was more like one in a bite because he dropped it after Kay popped her balloon. Yeah, I suppose so. I've got to thank Kay myself. Hey, wait, where is she? The only notice just now was his mind not present when he discussed her earlier. We. What? When we discussed her earlier. Detective Bad left to go search for her earlier. Maybe you should go join him. Yeah, you betcha, pal. I'm gonna go help him. Oh, but first. You know what, pal? Actually, I guess I shouldn't be so rude to you anymore, huh? I'm gonna stick right by your side. From now on, Mr. Edgeworth. Sir. Dot, 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 dot. What did I say? Mr. It's, it was Mr. Edgeworth, sir, and you didn't say the sir. Oh. Uh, I sense nothing but a most troublesome relationship with the ominous statement. We should go home too, Myers. We should have to hurry and then report what happened what? to Papa. Agreed. Well, I'm afraid we must be afraid? going now, Detective. Roger, sir, and don't you worry. I'm investigating the next case as well. We're on real as well. What? Oh, jeez. <coughs> I still have water in my lungs or something, I think. I'll, um, be counting on you. The scent of trouble is definitely in the air. That's like a bad dream. My first outing as a court came... What? At court. Came to a disturbing first end. first outing as a court. <laughs> a few months later, I was finally able to properly stand in court as a prosecutor. But the detective in charge of the investigation was as I dreaded Detective Gumshoe. After that, he became my direct subordinate. I entire I tried, but words fell, fail my to describe God. the immeasurable suffering go. that has 
caused me. He has caused me. But I suppose just as that's how things are. You didn't finish one of those lines correctly. As for the little girl who suddenly disappeared, she's now the Yadagarasu, and I have no idea why. Back to the present for no reason at all. So, do you remember now? Yes, I remember everything. Kay. What is your emphasis? It's been a while. Kay, you sure grew up fast. A lot. What? Whatever. Of course. <laughs> Thank goodness, I thought you two have totally forgotten about me. Oh, wait. You know, I was really worried about you My after God. all that. Where you have all been all this time. For some reason, I thought Kay was still talking for some reason. <laughs> Gummy, I didn't know you cared. After my father died, I went to live with my mother's relatives. They lived really far away, so I wasn't able to come back here all that much. Oh, is that what happened? Well, I'm just glad you're alright. <laughs> so does it all make sense now? You betcha it does! Oh, you know what? I was going through my father's bookshelves recently and... Hold it! Hold it! Actually, there are still a number of things that I don't make sense, Kay. That you don't make sense? Yep. Huh? First of all, why do you come all this way to see me? And second, why are you calling yourself the Yadagarasu? The Yadagarasu is Callisto Yu, the woman who killed your father. No, you're wrong. The real Yadagarasu was my father. Dot dot dot. Mr. Faraday was Yadagarasu? Like I said, I was going through my father's bookshelf recently, and I found a secret diary hidden amongst his books. I have no regrets in choosing to walk the path of the Yadagarasu. That was what was written in his diary, and I know, and that's how I know for sure. But that's... that's impossible! What's with that look? You don't believe me? It wasn't just the expression on my face. I clearly said it was impossible just now. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> Alright, then how do you explain this? It's a way of disarming any security system of the user's choosing. Yep, that's Little Thief. Truth be told, this is the Autograss's greatest secret. And this little gizmo was used by my father. Wow, Mr. Faraday wasn't just a great prosecutor, he was a really great thief, huh? Yeah, my father worked really hard to steal the truth. But he was killed. And the Yadagarasu was no more. But despite that, Yadagarasu has been spotted again recently. Someone other than you? No, it's you. <laughs> Here, Mr. Edgeworth, take a look at this article. Yadagarasu sends card to Embassy, the card received by Embassy. Yadagarasu sent the Embassy a calling card. Evening Edition. Yeah, meaning this person's a fake. I'm almost certain that Callisto you ladies behind this. Because the real Yadagarasu would never send something like a gaudy card out. But the Yadagarasu did send a white card along with anything to be publicized. That's what Detective Bad told me seven years ago with memory service. Well, as soon as I heard the news, I got all wound up and knew I just couldn't let it go. So I searched you out. So that you could obtain the truth, so that I could obtain the truth behind the Yadagarasu. Because if anyone can help me find it, I figured it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. So you're saying that I have your father's and Miss Yu's identities backwards? Yes, because the real Yadagarasu is noble to the end. And I want to revive the real noble Yadagarasu. If I don't, my father will never be able to rest in peace. Okay. I think you meant to say, rest in peace, sinners. <laughs> Kay, are you so honorable? I didn't even get a reaction out of him. Oh well. Because <laughs> it's not worth a reaction. A reaction is what you want. Oh well. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I'll always be here to cheer you on, pal. I don't care what the reaction was. I just wanted the reaction. Even if you are honorable, a thief is a thief. And if you are plotting to commit a crime, then I'm afraid I can't be complicit. Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, you guys are not making it easy for me who I'm supposed to support now! What? Mr. Edgeworth, 
What I want from you is not to steal something. What I want is the arrest of that evil woman. That evil woman? You mean Callisto Yu? I think it's too hard for me to catch her all by myself. But I thought that since you were able to expose her for who she is, then maybe... Please, Mr. Edgeworth, won't you help me? Dot 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 dot. Come to think of it, I do believe I owe you. Huh? Owe me for what? When Miss Yu made her escape, it was you who saved my life. Furthermore, you helped me with the investigation today. I am not so rude as to leave favors unrepaid. Then you mean... Yes. That case has been weighing down my soul ever since that fateful day. Except Perhaps... you forgot everything about it until five minutes ago. Perhaps, <laughs> yeah. The time has come to settle things once and for all. If you don't intend to sully your hands in a crime, then I believe I can help you. Mr. Edgeworth, thank you. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Isn't that great, Kay? Yeah, it sure is, Gummy. Even though he had completely forgotten about her until just now... So did you. So did you. <laughs> God damn it. Arg. What is with their chummy relationship? The Great Thief Yadagorasu. After all that time, the true identity of the thief sank back into the darkness. Into the darkness. Burn Faraday, Callisto Yu, and Kay Faraday. How long have we been going on? It feels like it's been forever. I wanted to end this about 10 minutes ago, but I figured we were near the end and this is, just keeps going on and on and on and on, so I'm just like, okay. <laughs> feels Defend... like we've been going for like an hour. We've been going for about 40 minutes. The phantasmagorically changing identity of the great thief Yadagorasu. I was going to let you try to struggle your way through that one. <laughs> and the Yadagorasu's real goal. It would all come to light the day after I made that promise to Kay. The end? What a coincidence. The end? The end? Yes, it's the, the end. end. Yes! It's the end, everyone! We'll see you on the next exciting episode. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Thank we'll Christ, go... there's only one more chapter. We'll go to turn about a blaze on the next exciting episode. See you all later, everyone! Blah!